Well, let's return to our top story now. Thousands of people trapped in high-rise buildings with unsafe cladding have been promised that they will face no extra costs to remove the dangerous material. In the last hour, the Housing Secretary, Robert Jenrick, announced an extra £3.5 billion to help some homeowners affected by the cladding crisis. Well, I say some. Uh, there are various uh, codicils to this all. Let's cross live to East London, where we can talk to Paul Afshar, who is an end our cladding scandal campaigner himself lives in a block with cladding uh, paul thank you for joining us how will it affect you what, what what's been announced today well the sad reality is unfortunately that it's um it, it's not good news for people in my situation um i live in a building which is under 18 meters um, so it doesn't qualify for the government's new funding and in fact there are tens of thousands of buildings um, that meet that criteria across the UK. People like myself are now going to have to be forced to take out loans for longer than our mortgage terms in order to pay ourselves for the cladding to be removed uh, for a problem that we did not cause nor that we should have to pay for as well. And I would say this, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has stood up at the dispatch box only a matter of weeks ago to promise us that leaseholders would not have to pay a single penny towards making their homes safe. And actually, today's announcement shows that is not the case. And this feels, unfortunately, like a betrayal for millions of us up and down the country. So, so you will have to take out a loan in order to, to pay for your share in inverted commas, of the cladding's removal. What happens then if you want to sell this property? You, you know, you, you might take it out that loan, as you say, longer than your mortgage. Uh, you don't have to pay more than £50 a month back. But, but, but how will you then sell your property? Because it will have this, this debt attached to it. Precisely. Uh, and this is the problem uh, with today's announcement. It was scant on the detail that we need to unclog the housing market. People like myself, as you re rightly point out, um, are unable to sell um, uh, our flats because of the situation we find ourselves in. Uh, and in fact, this new finance mechanism that has been put upon us, these seemingly endless loans, will not only saddle us with more debt, but equally add to that uncertainty as well. I don't know whether I will be able to sell, whether the debt stays with the house or whether it comes with me. Um, the problem, um, as you correctly said, is the fact that there is this sort of hugely long-term debt that's going to haunt millions of homeowners across the UK for an unspecified period of time. Uh, in terms of, of those who live in, in buildings over 18 metres, uh, are you satisfied with what has been announced today by the government for them? It is at least uh, a certain number of people who, who are now going to, to escape this, this horror of being stuck in, in this vicious circle. I think there are two problems with the announcement today for people who are in the, the most high-rise buildings. One is that Parliament itself has called for at least £15 billion to be made available to tackle the most dangerous cladding on these buildings. And today's announcement was um, a fraction of that. So it remains to be seen whether um, the government's announcement will actually benefit the uh, people who are stuck in these high-rises with the most dangerous cladding. Um, the other thing as well is that it's not just the removal of the cladding, it's the cost of waking watch fire patrols, it's the cost of fire safety systems and fire breaks, many of which are missing in these buildings, um, which goes unaccounted for. And I suspect um, a lot of leaseholders, even in the highest risk and the highest rise buildings, will have to pay for those themselves. What's it like living in a, in a property uh, with this planning? It's stressful. It's very, very stressful. Um, I, I bought my property several years ago um, and last year found out about the um, a potential hazard of dangerous cladding. Uh, I can tell you um, I've had a lot of sleepless nights worrying about it, um, worrying about how I'm going to pay for it and worrying about whether it was the right decision to buy this flat in the first place. Do you have any confidence what, what's been announced today that, that it's going to future-proof the industry in the sense that if, if developers are made to contribute towards the cost of this removal, it will stop these kind of things happening in the future? I would certainly hope so. I would certainly hope so. The, the one thing I would say is that 
We uh, are in a situation um, caused by uh, the developers who today I think were let off relatively lightly. If you actually look at the profit made by the country's largest developers since the Grenfell fire, you're talking about a figure of about £10 billion. So they've made £10 billion in profit in the past four years. Uh, and today's announcement was really um, a slap on the wrist, um, I think, for those developers. Um, and they got off relatively lightly. Okay, Paul Afsar, uh, good to talk to you. Thanks very much.